Welcome to another exciting episode of Geocaching with me, Komikino. Kid's not here because she decided to stay home today because weather's kind of mad. Anyway, I am out here at Mukatio near the uh, ferry docks here. And today I'm going to try and get my 4,000th geocache. That's right. I'm almost at 4,000 right now, currently at 3,995. Five to go. That's right. You're learning simple math with geocaching with Komikino. So join me today as I hit up 4,000. Before I head out to get that 4,000th geocache, I want to stop here at the Muckatilla area because I have yet to complete the October Geo Challenge of finding a geocache near a boat. Well, in near vision of a boat maybe because I'm out here in the, uh, the Bay Area and there's ferry boats across the way. In fact, ferry just came across the other side there to pick up some cars to take the other side. There's a geocache nearby, so I'm going to go ahead and get that so I can complete this October Geo Challenge. Okay, let's get this cash before these seagulls poop on me. Sometimes you gotta work on your stealth when you're catching these things like that. See, that was easy. Person in the car over there had no idea that I was snagging a cash. You gotta sign this thing, I'll take it back. And here we go, friends. 3,996 reflective cash container. Awesome. Okay, now it's time to put the cash back. <laughs> car's still there, so it's gonna go right on up here to it. The person's still in the car, they're not paying attention. And I'll just be like, oops, there we go. Like that, cash is back in place. And nobody's the wiser. <laughs> Whoa. Now there's five adventure labs around here that I could have easily just parked at and got. Got me to 4,000 pretty quick within a couple minutes there but I didn't want to go for the easy victory like that what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get my 4,000th find as a unique milestone cache you might remember when we got our 3,000th find I did that as a where I go cache out in Idaho I put a link up there here for it somewhere so what I want to do here for my 4,000th is get a multi-cache. I don't have a multi-cache as a milestone cache yet. There's one down south that I want to get, but what I want to do here is instead of wanting to get this one for the Geo Challenge, and there's a couple other ones that are out here. There's a new Washington State Geocaching Association Geo Tour cache that was placed yesterday. Um, I want to go ahead and get that one. Um, so I'm going to get like two regular caches there, 3,998. Then I'm going to head down to the library. There's a mystery cache that I can get, which will get me the 3,999. And then, of course, the multi-cache to get 4,000. Let's go ahead and get to it. But hey, you know what? I see a ferry coming in. So I want to get that picture and proof that I was here getting a cache with a boat nearby. There you go. Ferry boats right out there.
We're now here in Japanese Gulch Park, which is pretty close to Mokotil Landing, where we just were to get that cache. Now, there's a couple of caches here I can get. Actually, there's a whole ton I could get here, but I just want to get the one here that's at the entrance. And then, of course, the Washington State Geocaching Association Geotour Cache, which is at the southeast end of the park. At the location here for this cache and, hmm, it's a brick wall. Just found the cache. I'm not going to show you exactly where it was hidden because this was a pretty darn good hide. This is awesome. But here we go. Here's the container right here. And I had to use a special tool of the trade. Well, not really a special tool, but took a little bit of uh, looking around. But once I found it, it was like, oh, that's sweet. That's awesome. This one here gets a favorite point. Wow. Geocache 3,997. There for me was actually pretty darn cool. You have to come down and check this one out. It's it's a unique wall cache hide. So <laughs> definitely you got to check it out. I found a good number of caches out in this park. I think when I was doing my monthly variety challenge, I came out here and I found a, a letterbox cache. Um, I think there was also a Jasmine qualifying cache that I needed out of like the last 20 that I was uh, really looking for. Pretty familiar with this area, but I haven't cached the place out yet. So it's really good coming back here because it's new, but not new. It's a familiar area that I still have yet to clear out. And here we go. 2,900 98 right here. This is a Washington State Geocaching Association Geotour cache. There are 140 of these placed yesterday, of which I was first to find on two of them. And this one here has a uh, secret word in it that you put down for the Geotour so you can get a cool Geotour coin. Good grief. <laughs> There's like an airport, like maybe half mile down that way and when that plane kicked in it's like blah, 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 blah. thought it was like a friggin earthquake so here we go I am now third to find on this new cache bang I also want to go ahead and make sure I take a picture of the lid so I have that to put down the code word on my Washington State Geocaching Association Geo Tours log sheet that I have in the car. But also, I'm going to go ahead and put in some uh, swag. I'm going to put in a uh, Geocache with Kumi Keen on a Kid sticker and some buttons. Here we go. Got to get this picture. That's all done. Time to log it. Head on down to 3,999. And then get that multi-cache for 4,000. Let's go. And there we go. Third location written down in the Washington State Geocaching Association Geotour sheet. So three 
out of the 20 on that sheet and 137 to go if I want to get all 140, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. It's going to be tough just to get those 20 right there. There's two ways that you can get a Geo coin out of that Geo Tour. One is to get all 140 out of the seven different regions. That's right. There's seven regions in Washington. Each have 20 caches in them. So if you want to just go crazy and get all 140 to get that special coin, Go for it. Be my hero and do it. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and get the regular GeoTour coin out of the deal, you have to get out of three regions, 18 each. So again, as I said, there's 20 on here. Each region, you have to get 18, or you can go ahead and get all 20 that you want if you want out of those three areas. So I'm uh, just trying to get 18 out of three regions. Wow, that's going to be tough. Um, <laughs> I could probably get two, but yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, if I get them, awesome. If I don't, eh, I'm just going to go ahead and have fun caching just like what I usually do. Anyway, enough rambling. We need to get to 3,999. Let's go. Okay, we're at location for 3,999. And it looks like it's an LPC cache. That was part of a mystery cache series out here. And I'm at the location right here now for the final of this one. And I hope it's there. <laughs> Wow, that was um, that was fun. <laughs> I lifted it up there, and like all these roly poly bugs just went, brrr, fell out and rolled out all over the place. Henceforth, roly poly bugs. Um, and then found the cache, picked it up, looked at the bottom, was okay. Looked at the top, and it was wrapped in gray tape. And there was like an opening at the very top of which there was a spider just sitting right in there. So I was like, ah. Um, tapped it to try and get it out and that was when I kind of just dropped it and then the thing eventually ran out when it was when it fell on the ground so I kind of felt bad about that because that was the spider's home I was going to just go ahead and take a picture of it and be like I found it I didn't want to disturb nature but then it's like you know it just happened <laughs> so my geocaching question to you is, if you find a cache and there's like spiders and things around it, do you go ahead and open it and sign the cache or do you just leave it there? Um, and then maybe still log it as a find, but let the CEO know that it had bugs and spiders all over it and you didn't want to disturb them. I've done that before, but then I've also like, kind of what I did there, kind of tapped it and got the bugs out and eventually signed the official log there. So. There we go, 3,999. Good thing there was not 3,999 bugs all over that because that would have been oh, gross. Anyway, let's get this signed off to 4K. Okay, we're here at the location for hopefully my 4,000th find. It's a multi-cache here at a library. Um, I'm guessing you have to go up to the lamppost where the waypoint one is find the cache container and it's going to tell you where in this library you need to go to find the final. Um, sounds like it's kind of like the uh, cache that's out in Kirkland, which the kid and I found many, many years ago in our early years of geocaching. So let's go out there, get this waypoint one found and get 4K.
That was the coolest sounding LPC I've found in a long time. Holy cow, that was awesome. <laughs> wow. Anyway, this waypoint one here didn't say go to certain book section and look for such and such book. It kind of left it open, going to a certain area and look for a treasure. So, well, this will be fun. And here we go, Cache 4000, it's a multi-cache. Here's the library, now I didn't film the location where it was because I didn't want to give it away, but it's pretty obvious when you find it. And wow, this thing is stocked. Look at that there, holy cow. Got the logbook, and I don't think I could have found a better cache for my 4,000th find. This is loaded with so much stuff. Holy cow. Look at everything that's in here. And also special shout out to the library here, Mulcatilla Library, for letting me use this room here without notice so I could film this find. And here we go. It's a Rowlet. I think I will get this here as my 4,000th swag. It's not hopping. There we go. Anyway, here we go. Tons of cool stuff. This would be a great cache for you to find if you're with kids. Great way to introduce them to how multi caches work. So, Want to go ahead, get this thing logged, drop off some swag, and get on out of here. Wow, this has been here for quite a while. Looks like it's the original logbook, too. Wow, six years old. Six plus years old, holy cow. I hope that's coming out. And of course, I want to go ahead and leave some swag. I'm going to go ahead and leave a couple stickers. And three of my buttons. Bang, 4K right there. There we go. Thanks for joining me here on this adventure today as I came out and got Cash Find 4K. It's a multi cache, it's a new milestone cache for me here. Wow, um, you've been along with my geocaching trips as I've found the 300th cash find, which was at the block party. Uh, 900, which was out in the Redmond area, then 1000, which was basically out in the generally the same area there out in Redmond. 2000 was our Geo Coin Fest find. So that was a unique find right there for our milestones. And then 3000 was a where I go out in Lewiston, Idaho. So 
I'll try and put those links here somewhere so you can see the different milestone caches that we found. Thanks again for joining me here today as I got 4K. Ah, wish the kid was here. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for joining me on these geocaching adventures. It's great having you come along. And it's also been great caching with some of you uh, viewers out there as well, too. Other vloggers and other random people that I've met at caches or gone caching with. Thank you for joining me here and making these geocaching adventures so fun and so memorable. And hey, who knows where I'll be caching next. Until then, cache on.